I've been getting a bunch of questions about the pools system that was introduced in Fresh Season. Um, in the patch notes, it talked about a new system for how you can play multiplayer with people, and it's been confusing for some, and understandably so. It took a little bit of experimentation on my end to figure out what all it entailed. Um, but it's actually a nice little feature, a nice little quality of life thing that will help uh, a, a number of different aspects of trying to play with other people. So I want to explain a little bit about how that works. So to start with, in order to join a pool, you go to the match menu, so L button. Then you move, tab over twice to the envelope area here. And you can see in the upper right, you can click the plus button and join a pool. Now, why would you do this? What is the point of joining a pool? What you can do is you put in a name, and now you're in that pool. My current pool is called Blubber Nuggets. Why? Well, here's what this does. Essentially, joining a pool makes it so that you can play with people who are not currently added to your friends list. That's a big advantage for a couple of reasons. For one thing, it helps you just meet new people or just find people to play with out of a community that you know will have people in it that you would enjoy playing with. Um, so I'm, I haven't, you know, been testing it out too much, but I'm sure that there is plenty of activity in the pool called Squid School. Um, it would just be people who, you know, are a part of my community, maybe you're a part of the Discord, who enjoy playing with specifically each other because there's just a certain group of folks that are familiar to them who will be there. Um, they'll get to, you know, meet people who have common interests that way. So that's a really cool community building tool. But another huge advantage of it is that uh, I have a full friends list. And I don't want to have to friend every single person that I have to play with, especially since a lot of the times that I'm playing with people, I might play with that person once and then not play with them again or play with them next time, you know, a few years later um, because maybe they're a tournament player and we just got matched up in a bracket. We're going to play one set and then leave and not talk to each other again. Um, maybe it's going to be a student and it's a student who I don't especially know very well who, you know, we're just doing one lesson and then that's the one lesson that they got from me and we don't really talk much or, or interact after that. I have a lot of those kinds of interactions as a content creator, as a streamer, as a tournament player, and it's way better for me to be able to join via a pool because then it doesn't clog up the friends list. And if, for example, and I don't do these kinds of streams anymore that much, but if I were to do some kind of like community night where we're playing private battles with a whole bunch of fans, when I used to do those, I would need to spend a good like 20 minutes uh, every hour most of the time just going into the friends list and deleting old friends to make way for the new ones who are trying to play next. And that's just not great for the content. That's really frustrating for me. It takes a long time. It's very boring. And so it's a really great quality of life thing to not have to do that anymore because I don't need to friend anybody. They can just join me. Um, and as long as they know the room password, they're good to go. So when you enter one of these pools, it makes it so that you are able to receive notifications from other people who are looking for matches within that community, within that pool. So I'm going to enter the Squid School pool here. And what will happen is someone will decide that they want to play a match. So let's say we, we were just going to run an Anarchy Open here. And we create a room. If we're in a pool, the option will appear on the upper right. You can see the Y button to press and hold that. And what that will do is that will send out a message to anybody in that pool that there is a game that they're available to play in. Um, so you have to send out this invite for people to be able to see it. They won't just automatically see it just because you're in the pool. You have to press and hold the Y button. But then from there, um, if we were to leave this lobby here, 
they will get a notification that they've been invited to join a, a game, and they will find that game here on this list with the envelope, right where we joined the pool in the first place. So that's how you're going to be able to play with that group of people. Now, if, for example, I were to make this room, but I wanted only specific people to be able to join it, even within this pool, I can still set a password. So in the case where you're trying to get just certain people into your lobby, you still want to make a password, even if you're us using the pool invite to be able to get them in. Um, because even though there's a password on getting into the pool, it doesn't restrict anybody from getting in from who's in that pool as long as they know that, unless they also know the password. So that's another thing to bear in mind. So I can still set this so that even though I send out an invite to everybody in the Squid School pool, nobody's actually going to know what the password is here. And so nobody's actually going to be able to join on this, even though I send out an invite. Hopefully that has helped with understanding how that system works. Again, I'm super happy that it's in the game for my sake, um, because having to delete that many friends all the time uh, was obnoxious. Um, not a fun aspect of playing the game is as prolifically as I do. And so I'm glad that Nintendo gave us a solution where we can have those kinds of interactions without needing to fill up our friends list with people that will only play once.